Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks to do in Procreate. These are all tips and tricks that anyone can do, either if you're a beginner or a pro. I just wanted to share with you guys these tips. They are so, so helpful so that you won't mess up and just make your process so much more fun. So the first one isn't really a tip, it's something that just happens and I'll show you how to fix it. And that is if you have white lines or overfilling, and if you don't know what I mean is if you draw a shape and then you try to fill it and you kind of have white lines on the edging, what you can do instead is draw your shape and when you're about to fill it, um, take it and leave it there and you'll see something at the top that is color drop threshold and you can change it up and down if you do it 100% it does the whole thing and if you do it way too low it has white lines so just do it in between so the next one is moving layers together and there's a few options on how you can do this you can either merge the layers which doesn't have that much control over all the layers but you can also group them but let's just say you don't want to do either of those two things what you can do is almost group them you're just gonna slide the all the layers to the left and then instead of clicking delete or group you can just click the mouse button and move it and reshape it however you want so the next one is how to switch colors especially if you're using two different colors so here i'm just drawing a random like pattern and I'm here going through my palette, switching colors, but that's not what you want to do if you're trying to go a little bit faster. What you can do instead is hold the color button and it will switch to the next one. It won't do it if you do more than two colors, but it does just switch back and forth with those two. So that is good if you're doing like a specific drawing with just those two colors. So the next one is how to do better calligraphy or hand lettering in general. So here I'm just writing hello as an example and this is with the brush pen script in calligraphy and it's just pretty normal, no like bumpy lines. And then I'm gonna lower the streamline which is how it usually is, I just made it differently. And here as you can see the lines are like really bumpy and it's falling right after the pen so here I'm just marking out like some lines where it was so bumpy and how it just looks without the streamline so if you're looking for better calligraphy or hand lettering I would recommend increasing the streamline just because it would look so so much better when you're doing it so the next one is using the same brush and if you don't know what I mean by this and that is using the same brush for erasing and doing your line art. So here I'm just taking an example for shading and I want to use it for eraser so what I'm going to do is just hold down eraser and it's just going to go to the same brush. So the next one is coloring your sketches and if you might have tried out, the sketching brushes don't work if you're coloring it. So as you can see here, I colored the whole entire screen with just that outline on the edge. And this is basically what you can do from the same thing I showed in the beginning. You can hold the color drop threshold and just find the right place in the middle. And even if you look up close, there is still that white outline on the edge. So moving on to the last one, and that is the difference between alpha lock and clipping mask. And here I'm going to show you first shading with clipping mask and the advantages of both of them. Also comment down below if you want to see a tutorial of me shading and all that type of stuff. But anyways, when you do this, you can move it around, you can gauge and blur it, you can even change the colors of all of it, you can lower the opacity, you just have so much more freedom because it's on a different layer than the bottom one. And here I'm shading it with alpha lock and if you try to lower the opacity, it lowers the opacity for both of them and also you can't move it around as much. So I feel like clipping mask obviously has more freedom, but if you're trying to do some type of pattern, then that'd be good. Here I did the pattern on a clipping mask layer, but I meant to do it on alpha lock because I don't think you're going to be moving around a pattern as much as shading and blending all of it out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, but before I end up today's video, I want to say that I will be doing two of these short tutorial or digital art videos in one week, and I will be doing one long video, either part of my series, or just to entertain you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!